All right, we're here with Dewan Chaudhry at the Security Analyst Summit, and you did a talk today on hacking the power grid and, and kind of the results of a honeypot that you guys built uh, to mimic an electronic management system. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what went into it? Sure. As um, you know, the biggest concern of hackers trying to shut down the uh, electrical grid, and we had uh, we definitely had an interest to see how hackers would react when they would actually interact with this. So when if hackers were to have access to it the system that industry would be most uh, would fear the most if they had access to the EMS, the energy management system. So we created a virtual EMS and put hackers into it to see how they would react in, uh, within this uh, confined environment. And can you just summarize some of the behaviors you saw once these guys got in? Interesting uh, enough, <clears throat> um, advanced pers we put a bunch of different actors in there, like advanced persistent threat, crimeware actors. Um, so amongst the APT actors, like Russian and Chinese, they would steal stuff, uh, exfiltrate technical data, AutoCAD diagrams, stuff like that, but they would not engage in the activity of uh, sabotage, which is very important because the biggest fear is that they would go down and actually impact the electric grid. But Middle Eastern actors, on the other hand, they would actually go out and actually immediately go after saying, hey, if it was an, we would make an Israeli power company or Saudi Arabian electric company, they would actually go out there and actually attempt to disconnect a part of like the substation or the actual power generating facility from the electric grid. So different motivations for different uh, geographies. Uh, you know, you could almost mimic today's geopolitical struggle right. and see how they act. You know, in the area where, you know, where Stuxnet was introduced and, you know, eye for an eye, we saw the destructive malware attacks targeting RAS gas and Aramco. Um, you saw that destructive nature in them, while amongst the Chinese and Russian and, and Americans, pretty much a gentleman's agreement. We will spy on you, but we will not do any type of destruction. So, yeah, you can almost take the geopolitical situation and map it on a cyber ass perspective and see how they react. And just as a last question, we had a conversation about just how difficult it is to hack the grid and the resources that go into it. Can you cover that just from a high level? Yeah, I mean, all grid, all the grid is not the same. I mean, it can even differ from substation to substation. So any motivated attacker would not only need to know the company they're targeting, but each single different, each specific substation, the configuration. So, you know, it's not just this one magic attack that could take the grid down or the components. You have to have very intimate knowledge of the configurations, the design in order to do this. Well, you know, and that's when we correlate back to the type of data that's being, that's being stolen out of the networks here are the, this type of specific information. So the inner workings of the electric grid. So if you want to one day weaponize uh, malware to target this, you need this information. And that's what's actually been exfiling out to these uh, countries. Very good. Thanks for joining us today.